This is the January 21st garden update. So we have peppers are still not quite popping up. I did knock one over apparently though. Oopsies. And so those guys are probably a couple more days away. Just, just dropped down to 70 outdoors here. The cucumbers did fantastic. I think 100% uh, or 99% of them germinated. I think I'm missing one or two. Uh, same with the broccoli and same with the purple basil, which is doing very well. And then come over to the tomatoes, which are doing really, really well. There are five varieties of tomato here. I think I mentioned that before, but they're all up and doing well, keeping warm during the day. I did have a uh, comment on a video of the ring collection tanks about running ozone through it. Now, I'm not too familiar with that process or the amount of electricity it would require to run ozone through that kind of volume. So I would be curious if anyone else has done that. Um, so if you could comment below and or give some insight as to what kind of sterilization that offers to water. Uh, I actually designed the system so that the flow rate that goes outward on a monthly basis is almost exactly equivalent to the entire system's volume. So that uh, about 2,000 gallons leave every single month, um, or a little over, which makes sure that it's always clean. And now I'm going to go to the spigot outside that's attached to this. So this actually has a little underground piece. It comes out, you can actually see behind this bottle, there's the plastic pipe coming from underground. And this water hasn't cycled um, since October, the end of October, I think. This has been pretty, about half full or so, consistently without any uh, complete reduction of the tanks to down near zero where I typically can get. And... As you can see, I don't know if I have a clear enough backdrop for it, but maybe I can just hold it up to the light. Hold on here. But as you can see, the water that comes out of the tanks themselves is, I mean, it's pretty much as clear as you can get. Um, there's nothing moving, living, or growing in the water that you can see. Uh, those are bubbles inside it, obviously. But, yeah, beyond that, I would say, uh, I would just be curious, is the necessity to run something like ozone through it? I haven't had anything grow in my water yet. Uh, perhaps that's because I have UV um, plastic, UV light block plastic tanks that are FDA food grade, so that light can't penetrate the bottle, just like a milk bottle, um, so it can't alter the contents chemically. So these have that property to them. Perhaps that is the benefit to this, but uh, I really would again love anyone to give some insight as to the necessity to running ozone through a collected water system, as I have not found a need for it yet and do not think I will, but curious what kind of energy consumption it would require and uh, what benefit it would actually cause. So if you would uh, comment below, let me know and uh, Give a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more of the updates to the garden and all sorts of other random stuff about Jeeps, Legos, and Basenjis. This is the lettuce. It's doing pretty good.